News in Brief, brought to you daily by Naked News. I'm Ayla Adams. And I'm Peyton Priestley. Here's what's making headlines. Once again, Virginia Tech is the site of a deadly shooting, this time leaving two people dead. One of the victims was a campus police officer making a routine traffic stop. Unconfirmed reports say that the gunman was the second victim. Virginia Tech was also the site of America's worst school shooting in 2007, when 32 people were killed. At least 89 people in Calcutta, India are dead after a fire broke out in a hospital. The fire started in the basement where staff were storing flammable materials. Shockingly, hospital staff are being accused of abandoning patients as the flames spread. Six officials have been arrested on charges of culpable homicide. 17 Eurozone nations have reached an agreement they hope will help combat the region's debt crisis and save the euro. The new pact will introduce strict guidelines on tax and budget spending and will bring harsh sanctions against countries that overspend. Interestingly, Britain backed out of the deal, as Prime Minister David Cameron felt it was not in the UK's best interest. The conviction of a U.S. death row inmate has been overturned because of what one of the jury members posted on Twitter. The Arkansas Supreme Court say it was inappropriate for the juror to post his thoughts on the trial online. As a result, Erickson Dimas Martinez, convicted of shooting a 17-year-old, will get a new trial. Iran is displaying what appears to be a near-perfect U.S. drone on national TV. It's an aircraft the U.S. government has acknowledged is likely one of its Sentinel RQ-170 models that went missing last week. A senior U.S. official called it a big prize in terms of technology for Iran. U.S. President Barack Obama said he did not try to retrieve the plane as an attempt to do so could be perceived as an act of war. Scientists are even closer to finding a cure for baldness. Researchers are developing a new treatment based on how animals both grow and shed their winter coats. Seasonal hair growth is triggered in animals by hormones in the skin layer as well as elsewhere in the body. The treatment would thus attempt to alter the environment around hair follicles as well as stimulate them directly. And just like that, you're up to date. Be sure to visit us again soon for another round of headlines. We'll see you then.